All right, you guys, welcome to part two. So, where was I? Back to the notes. So, Saru is an Indian born Australian. That is because he was born in India, but he was adopted at such a young age by an Australian couple that now he is an Australian. And while he was living in there, of course, so at the age of five, he was speaking in Hindu. And then he spent 25 years in Australia. So he totally forgot how to speak Hindu because they speak Australian, which is pretty much English. So number one. And don't forget, you can pause this video at any time. Okay. Now, number two, a lot happens to him at the age of five. Okay. So he lost his brother. His brother dies. He gets hit by an oncoming train. Sorry for the glare. Then remember the train conductor dude almost sell, uh, sells him into slavery, but he like gets out of there because he feels uncomfortable. So even at the age of five, he knew this ain't right. Something is not right. Something is quite wrong. That's uh, the nightmare before Christmas, right? Something is not right. Something is quite wrong, I think. That's a good beat, though. Joey, Joey, Joey would have a good beat for that. Something is not right. Hey, something is not wrong. Hey, something is not right. Hey, something is not wrong. Hey. Y'all know, I know some of y'all already beating on the table. I know you guys. All right. Then, at the age of five, he's homeless for two weeks. He's digging through the garbage to get food, and he's sleeping under benches and train seats at the age of five. So then the teenager takes him to the police station, and they register him and put him into, like, an adoption place. And he is adopted by a nice little Australian couple. And then he grows up. And he meets his bio mom 25 years later. Now, fun story. Or fun fact, not a story. There is a 2016 movie about this book. Called Lion. I have not seen the movie, although I am quite intrigued, so I may try to find it this weekend and watch it. Because if it's anything like the book, it's going to be a killer. And Nicole Kidman supposedly plays the mom, the Australian mom who adopts him. And you know, Nicole Kidman, you can't go wrong. So that's what I'm thinking. So those are just some fun facts that I wanted for you guys. <laughs> All right. Alright, you guys good? You guys feel good? Alright. So, the reason that I wanted to give you some background is because the part of the story that we're coming in on, our excerpt, is actually when he gets to college. So I felt all of this background information that I wanted you to look for yesterday was important because I want you to know, like, 
how strong he is and what all he's been through before he even gets to college. So all of that stuff is just what happens to him at the age of five. Okay? So just already know that, man, this guy has been through a lot just at the age of five. So just imagine where he's going to be as he starts his new journey at college. You know, he does have a really good friend that's going to be his roommate. Um, his name is Byron, so we're going to get to meet Byron. Um, but just know that the mindset of this person is going to be very, very strong because of everything that he's already been through. Okay? Now, last but certainly not least, let's talk about some secret garden. Okay? So, uh, by now, you should have read chapters 1 through at least 4, hopefully 5. But if not, that is what you need to do. If you don't do anything else, that is what you need to do. So, uh, let's take a crash course in The Secret Garden. Because it's so good, y'all. Oh, it's so good. It's just so good. So we know that we have the orphan girl. Her name is Mary Lennox. Okay? And so what else do we know? I wish, you know, this is a great time to have a live chat. Unfortunately, we're not going to have, we don't have a live chat scheduled for today. Um, so I'm not really sure where chapter five is. So, uh, we should have met Maid, uh, Martha the Maid. Um, when you meet Martha, you should really like her. So, I want you to pay close attention to Martha and Mary. And the uncle, Uncle Archibald, okay? Here we go. I'm going to write those names down for you because I feel like those are those are the important ones. Okay. So as you're reading, I want you to write down what you think about them. Okay. There's no right or wrong. I want to, like I said, there's no right or wrong. I want to know what you think, okay? It's what you think. So I want to know what you think about Mary, Uncle Archie, Martha, and Ben. We'll meet the others later, but these are the characters you should have met so far, okay? So just mark, just make a little note about what you think of them, because I want to talk about them a little more on Monday, okay? So you have this weekend. I won't be making videos this weekend. I know, ooh, you're so excited. <laughs> So that is yours. Read your chat. Read your chapters. I want you to read. I want you to tell me what you think about Mary and Uncle Archie if you've met him yet. Martha and Ben. I'm not really worried about the housekeeper because it's housekeepers are always mean. I don't know what it is, but it doesn't matter if it's the lion, the witch, and the wardrobe. It doesn't matter if it's the secret garden. I feel like every book where there is a housekeeper, they are just mean. They're just mean. That's something, that is something interesting that I would like to talk about later, is why we have to have a female housekeeper or butler, or even a male butler, that's just mean. You know? I don't know. It's like a literary thing. It's like we have to have that. We have to have that mean 
authoritative figure. Who knows? All right, guys. So that's enough out of me for today. I will post again on Monday, and who knows? I may have some more information for you guys on Monday about the school situation, um, but I will keep you as updated as possible. And your assignment is to match your notes with Saru Briarly with the ones that I gave you. And then if you have any really cool ones that you found out on your own, add them in the comments so your classmates can have them, okay? Because I ask you guys to research them as well. So if you have any extras that you thought were really cool or really important, put them in the comments section so your classmates can get those as well. So we have more information about where Saru was in his life, you know, as all of these events sort of occurred, okay? That would be very, very helpful. And then read your chapters for The Secret Garden and make those character notes for me, okay? You guys have a great weekend, and I will see you on Monday, all right? Have a great one, guys. Bye.